Hi, Vinny Labote here, Tech Supporter Enabling Devices. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of our new products, the Computer Mouse Interface number 1165. So let's get started. This is a wireless computer interface and also a, a functional mouse. It is designed to be used with, with switches. You have two jacks here on the side, so you can plug uh, uh, one or two switches. You can do a left click or right click for a PC and you can also with the accompanying software change what those switch activations do. They could either be a keystroke or a different mouse click. This also has a pickup here on the bottom just like a conventional laser mouse so you actually can move this around the desktop and it will actually move the cursor on the computer screen. Unlike a lot of switch interfaces they actually do not support any type of cursor movement, they just do a mouse click and have to be used with software that is what they call switch access software. What we've also included on this is a removable or changeable handles. We have a T handle here for some physically challenged users who could not put their hand on the switch area to move the mouse around. You can also change that out. with our joystick type handle. So the next step I'd like to show you is I'm going to set this up with the computer and show you how this works. First thing you're going to need to do before you plug this into your computer is this takes two AAA batteries. There's a Phillips head screw to open the back here. And with the accompanying software, when you install that software, it actually has a battery meter on there. So on the computer, it'll actually tell you when the batteries need to be changed, which is a nice feature. Once you have the batteries installed, then you're ready to plug this into your computer. There is a label here to indicate which is the left click and right click. Stored here on the side, you have a USB the, the uh, USB dongle which actually plugs into your computer and it'll work with any USB port 2.0 or newer. When you plug in your interface on a Windows machine you'll get a found new hardware detected and you just wait till the machine installs the basic Windows drivers for it. The other thing too you want to make sure that once you do that you want to press the power button on the actual mouse interface and you can see that the cursor is moving around on the desktop and it is functioning. So you can you can install this just using the standard either Windows drivers or Mac drivers that will be detected by the hardware and it will work for assistive technology as far as plugging in switches and using that with uh, computer programs the added benefit of, of downloading the software will give you the ability to change those switch inputs. What, what if they're to make them either a, a keystroke or some other mouse function. Stock without installing that extra software you won't be able to do. And you also get the battery meter on the computer. But again, you do not technically have to install the software unless you need to make those type of changes or you want to monitor the battery performance but on average you should get almost about a year before the battery needs to be replaced so let me show you some of the the abilities with the um, interface again like I said you can use this to move around the cursor but if I wanted to open up um, a browser if I just it's going to open up a web browser I can also still use, I have a regular mouse attached here as well, that doesn't affect the usage of the mouse. So again, if somebody was using this who had some physical challenges, maybe a therapist or a teacher is working with them, they can even do the mouse movement, or I should say the cursor movement for them, and then just let them do the switch, um, switch activation part. Uh, example, I'm going to open up a, um, a link here. I'm just gonna move the cursor as if I was the teacher or a therapist, and then I just need to tap my switch and it will open it up. If I want to close out the browser, it 
to switch. You also can plug in external switches here on the side for somebody who could not physically move this. Maybe they need a sip and puff or a, um, a, a head switch or some other type of switch to activate. Let me show you how that works. So again, you can use this with an external switch. I have a, just a standard capability switch here and I'm going to plug it into the left click input and just plug your switch in. If I was to move the cursor over I can use this switch instead of the big button to do the same. Now if I wanted to use the other switch input that is a uh, that's the right click it mimics the right click of the mouse. And again with the added software you're able to change what these input jacks do. Not only is it an interface and a switch for computer use, it also works in the in the left click jack. It actually we give you a an included eighth inch to eighth inch cable. It also works as a conventional switch for adapted devices or toys. You don't need to have this turned on when you're using it as just a regular switch for a device, an adapted device. I'll actually shut it off. So you actually get a lot of value in this switch because it's two in one. It's again an interface and computer switch and it's also a standard switch for adaptive products and, device and toys. What I'd like to show you now is just uh, real simple about installing the additional software. Um, this is for a Windows computer running Windows XP. It should be, it might be slightly different for other operating systems like Mac or um, Linux. Actually, I want to point it out with Linux users, if you are using a Linux operating system, you will not need to download this additional software. The, you will be able to make some changes to the mouse configurations in your mouse control panel in within Linux. So you do not install this uh, software for Linux, but for Mac and Windows, you can install this software. So I went to the website where you need to download the software, and that's in your instruction man manual, which is included with this. You will just you have a few options here. Uh, I just use the smart installer which will detect what you need and then just hit download software. So a window will pop up and it'll ask you if you want to save or run this and you just hit run. It will take, depending on your machine, it will take a few moments and you just follow the, the menu and it will install the proper software for your mouse. And once the software finishes installing, it'll say the installation is complete and you can just click finish. Once you have the software fully installed, you click on this little indicator here on the left, the right hand side of your computer screen and it will bring up the set point control panel where you can make changes to what the mouse clicks do. It can be the keystroke, whatever you decide you want to do. You can also change the pointer speed or the cursor speed. There's a lot of nice features here you can add. And then here's your battery indicator telling you have 450 days left before I need to change the battery. So again, adding the software is a nice added bonus feature to have to, uh, to make those changes and tweaks to the mouse if you need be. So there you have our computer mouse interface number 1165. Hope you enjoyed the video. You can purchase this item through our website at enablingdevices.com, through our phone sales at 1-800-832-8697, and through our catalog. Once again, this is Vinny Lavodi for Tech Support at Enabling Devices. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you soon.